you know, writing for me as a school kid was penmanship. That was what writing was. We didn't do any nope. yep, me neither. creative writing at all. I learned how to write an essay. I didn't even learn how to write an essay. Believe me, I went to well, college pat, and that was pat, it. pat, pat, cat, 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 <laughs> rat, pat, cat. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was in China. It was in the United States. <laughs> but, but, but so that I'll go and they'll, say, and they'll ask me these very esoteric questions. And I won't even know the meaning of the words. And they're getting more and more exercised because their teacher has told them that this is the way real writers write. And then, you know, they say, well, of course you keep a... A, a <laughs> journal, no, I, you know, if, the only thing I've ever written that looks like a journal is what I write when I can't write what I want to write, and if, I've asked God to give me a week's notice so I can burn it all because if it's left behind, people will think I was the most depressed person in the world, and I'm really not a depressed person. No, you're not. So, and, and they said, well, well you, you keep a writer's notebook so you could jot, and well, I always mean to. <laughs> <laughs> But I've never been able to do, well, you know, they're getting more and more worried about me because. <laughs> it's like, you're not a writer. Yeah, yeah. No, obviously not. And I said, well. Here's the happy wait news a about writing. Wait, <laughs> wait a minute. Let me just establish with you that whatever it is that real writers do, I don't. <laughs> no, but whatever you do, there's no, you know, because everybody. Does it differently. Everybody does it differently and everybody wants a magic pill. There's no right way to do it. You don't have to. You don't have to keep a journal. You don't have to. You don't have to do anything. You just have to find a way to uh, write and then rewrite and rewrite, <laughs> and, rewrite. and rewrite and rewrite and rewrite and rewrite. Um, I do keep a a, a, a not a, I you know a, a, just a book that I write in every day, and I always keep a notebook with me because unlike you, I do eavesdrop. I love mm -hmm. listening to people. Um, I'd be a better writer if I did all these things. I know that. No, I think that you're eavesdropping in your heart. <laughs> yeah, because um, I think you're interested in people. And then I, um, I, I do a rough draft that all your stuff is at the Curlin, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you can go to the Curlin collection, at the University of Minnesota, and you can see my see, rough draft. See our trash. Right. It's like somebody looking at your dirty underwear kind of it's just like it's horrifying who does she think she is she can't write it's obvious obviously i've had people tell me i actually sat next to somebody a couple of years ago who said i looked at your rough drafts of winn dixie at um the curlin and i thought if you're allowed to start this way then i can write. anybody can write. yeah it's like great i mean that's literally yeah. what the only good reason i could think for turning them in there yeah because it's mortifying it is. so it I, just proves how humble we are right that we're willing to let people look at that stuff well it's just but it also it's just like i i didn't know for all that time i was walking around wearing my black turtleneck and stuff i thought that if you were supposed to be a writer i don't know if you i, I think that people suffer from this delusion that if you're supposed to do something, then the something that you're supposed to do is easy and it comes naturally to you. I think I'm doing exactly what I'm supposed to do with my life. And I think that uh, writing is harder for me than it is for uh, a lot of people. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, there's a wonderful book called Art and Fear where uh, uh, Art and Fear, Bales and Orland, those are the two uh, authors' names if you want to look it up. They talk about how there's one Mozart born every century, one, one artist who hears the music. God mm. puts it right in his ear, and then he puts it down on the paper. And then they say, guess what? That ain't you. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and so if you want to make any kind of art, you have to be willing to, to rework it and rework it and rework it and rework it. Mm. I'm willing to do that. Catherine's willing to do that. Mm -hmm. That's why we're talking to you today.